was an emotional day in a local courtroom. A teenage driver who hit and killed three people pleaded guilty, but she will spend no time in jail. The victims included a mother and her baby, along with a grandmother. Channel 2's Nicole Carr is live in Cherokee County. And Nicole, new since 5 o'clock, you spoke to that teenage driver's lawyer. Well, Jovita, he says the plea was her idea because she didn't want to put the victim's families through a trial. With this being a misdemeanor case, the most she could have seen was 36 months behind bars. Now we're talking 36 months probation with first offender status. All of this comes off her record. When she's done with it, she'll get her license back in a year. I'm sure you can hear it in my voice. My animosity towards the situation is absolutely immense, and that is why. Zero accountability for your actions. Loved ones of three pedestrian victims remembered their faces, recounted stories about good times, and asked a Cherokee County judge to give the toughest sentence possible to 18 year old Zoe Reardon. It's ridiculous to say they walked out in front of you. That didn't happen. You know it didn't happen. I want to take this opportunity to say how truly sorry I am for what happened. The judge accepted Reardon's plea and gave her 36 months probation in the misdemeanor fatality case from September 2017. That's when Reardon was leaving the horse stables and crashed into Caitlin Hunt, her three-month-old baby Riley, and their close friend Kathy Deming. The group was walking to a concert in Woodstock Amphitheater when Reardon hit and killed them. Reardon has said she never saw them that evening, and her defense has pointed to forensics, arguing this was never a distracted driving case. Initially, investigators decided not to charge her. That changed as a civil suit against the city of Woodstock was filed by Hunt's husband, who pointed out the lack of pedestrian-friendly crossings. Victims' loved ones told the court they were disappointed by Reardon's move to apologize on Channel 2 last year rather than reach out directly. The only time there was a desire for a conversation was when it was you, your best interests were at heart. People are hurting and they get to say what they want. The issue is, you know, the police told us not to contact them. The plaintiff's lawyers, when the civil suits that were going on, told us not to contact them. And the criminal case was a sort of an afterthought. I asked Reardon's attorney about the public criticism over her sentencing. They can say what they want, but when you only watch two-minute snippets of the news to figure out what the facts are, um, you know, that's just not right. The issue is the cell phone had nothing to do with it. There was not distracted driving. Um, but in the end, she just didn't want to put everybody through it, and she accepted the plea. Reardon will complete probation check-in from Texas. That's where she's in college. And in a statement, uh, the Hunt family sent us calling this situation a tragedy and saying the court actions cannot heal us. We must continue to heal ourselves. We're live in Cherokee County. Nicole Carr, Channel 2 Action News. Okay, so y'all just heard that right there. And let me just say this. This has to be one of the most ultimate white privilege cases I've come across in all my years doing YouTube videos, probably in all the years that I've heard various cases such as these. Now, I would like to know, is this the same damn judge who was handling the case with Affluenza Boy? Because this actually almost plays out the same exact way. Like, he hit and killed four people. She hit and killed three people, one of them being an infant. He didn't get any jail time. She didn't get any jail time. This happened in Texas. Well, this happened. Well, with his happened in Texas, hers happened in Georgia before she went off to school in Texas. So this chick hit and killed three people. She was supposed to get 36 months behind bars, but she took a plea deal and they gave her 36 months probation. Let that sink in for a second. She was going to get a slap on the wrist regardless of what she got. Because 36 months behind bars, that's what, a, a few years? That's nothing. That's what, three years, I believe? Three years? So now she's on, only going to be on three years probation. Let it have been one of us that did that. We would have got years behind bars whether we took a plea deal or not. And she said, I didn't want to put the families through a, tr uh, through a trial. Well, you got to slap them on the wrist, so now they still got to deal with that. And listen to all the things that they said involving her. She can still go and attend classes. Her classes at the school she goes to. While still going for her probationary hearings. 
And mind you, she's in Texas right now. And this incident happened in Georgia. Y'all cannot tell me that white privilege is not real. And by the way, in case y'all were wondering, the three people she hit were white. I don't know what the... Uh, I don't know what the uh, the uh, sex of the infant is, but I know the two uh, adults were women. So what does that tell you? You know what it is? They have to think of her future. You know, they can't ruin her future. I don't want anybody to tell me that white privilege ain't real. And this, one, this chick don't look like she come from much. Now, the last time we dealt with a white girl or a white young woman that got on our goddamn nerves was uh, who did some malicious shit was that chick who did that stuff to that young black lady, her roommate, when she was tampering with her stuff and poisoned her. And nothing happened to her. Come to think of it, they almost could be related. This woman, this chick, this girl, whoever, she looks like something straight out of the damn poltergeist. Like, it will come straight out of that damn TV and haunt you. You can look at her face right here and tell that she feels absolutely nothing for what she did. She's probably happy with what she received. I know she is. And they said when she's done with her, her program, she will be able to get her license back. All I can hope for is that in the time that she's going through in her probationary period... Is that she fucks up royally. That way they can send her to jail. But see it'll play off just like that. Affluenza boy again. Because remember. He got put on probation. Because they said he had affluenza. And he didn't know what he was doing. Because he was too rich. And I still think today that is the biggest crock of shit I've ever heard. But what did he do? He ended up fucking up and broke his probation. Because I think he was on a 10 year probation. And he broke it. Not even halfway into his probation. I think he was only like maybe three years in. Maybe. And with, and he ended up fleeing the establishment with his ratchet ass mother to the Mexican border into Mexico. And he brought him back. And what did they do? Put him in jail. For not what he did to get him on probation. But for him breaking probation. So that means if she breaks probation. They will put her in jail. Not for a long time, but not for her killing three people, but because she broke her probation. Make that make sense. Y'all let me know what you think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. I'll talk to you in the next one.